another first birthday party in the books. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm You're tired. tired. You didn't even do nothing. How I ain't do nothing? You didn't plan this party. I did all the work leading up to it. Like what? I didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing. But I got to pay for it. Exactly. See, that's why I'm not even going to argue with you. Because you pay for it. I plan it. She don't even know what a budget is. We had a budget. And she just went all over the budget. Hmm? Exactly. Don't even talk about budget. Budgets are and how you even come to up be with, broken. How you, that's not even a saying. I made it up. <laughs> just like you made up the budget. <laughs> 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 Disgruntled right now. He doesn't really know what's going on. You guys know this party is more about us than it is him. And there's a reason that he's not a party. We're gonna go and see and see. Me, 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 me. See, KFC, don't mess up. If you can't sing, please do not sing. Don't mess up my happy birthday song, okay? There we go, God, mommy, that's what I'm talking about. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. First of all, right, the whole thing was bohemian. Oh, she puts uh, on the she puts on the invitation. The attire, like, the attire is bohemian chic. <laughs> People just think if they add chic to a word, that it just makes it something. Bohemian it didn't sound chic. Better, so what I was supposed to say. To this day, people still don't know what bohemian. I got text messages from all, all my people about what's bohemian Tell chic. Tell you people get cultured, okay? Get cultured. What's bohemian chic, Kareem? What do you mean? Bohemian is a style. So if you just Google bohemian wear, Google Coachella images, it's easy. You can see what to wear. You know that she ain't give no Go definitive answer? What? Because she don't know what bohemian chic is. I know what it looks like, I don't like, know though. what bohemian chic is. I know what it looks You know now. You know what I Googled like. it and I still don't know. Well, still. Coachella is like you a picked my outfit theme. Out. I did. I did because I wanted to put him in a nice floral shirt and stuff. No. He wasn't trying to hear it. So no. we went the denim route, that whole Coachella look, and it worked out. 
You look good. Thanks. Says the person who put my hole off. She, of course, you're going to say, she got me a shirt with a bunch of holes in it. Like, this is, shirt got a random it's hole distressed. in it. It's distressed. Shirts got random, it's random holes with it. I don't even know how much I pay for these shirts. They got all these damn holes in it. Don't worry about I, it. I hope I ain't paying a lot of money for these shirts. I could have put these holes in my shirt by myself. True. Give yourselves a round of applause. You know why you're applauding yourself? Tell us. Because you tried to dress in the Bohemian style. I didn't know what Bohemian was. I Googled it. It was very vague. I still don't know what it is. My wife dressed me. I would never buy these shoes for myself. I don't, I don't even know why. Yes, I love the shoes. They look very nice. Whatever the pregnant lady says. But um, we just want to thank you guys for showing us so much love. Showing Cairo so much love. We appreciate you guys. You're all part of our family. Maybe you want to say something? Um, no, I just want to welcome everyone. Thank you all for taking the time to come out and celebrate with us. The majority of you here today were also here last year where we celebrated and we found out that it was a boy. So um, thank you so much. That just shows how much you really mean to us and our family. Um, just want to let you guys know we're going to have a magic show starting for the kids. Um, adults, the bar is in the corner. So we do over there. My dad made his famous rum punch. And I have to be responsible. If you're drinking your rum punch and your wine, make sure you, you don't drink and drive. Listen, we live right down here, but you cannot come to our house. So make sure you get a Uber. Thank you. Say happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh, that's the magic word that brings the funny right here. See? No. Huh? No. Buddy, we're gonna play the panda song later, right? Now we're doing a magic show, okay? Listen, here I am. First of all, I almost didn't even have a date available on a weekend in September for Cairo's birthday party. You know why? Because I this wedding season, September is my busiest month. I literally looked at my calendar like two, three months ago and was like, oh my god. Cairo's first birthday party. So you're we admitting have a on party. camera that you forgot your son's first birthday. I didn't forget. I'm just saying it happened I later didn't. on. You a bad mom. Shut up. Shame anyway, on you. I shame. Looked, <laughs> shame. I looked at the calendar and I was like, September 23rd is open. It's free. That has to be his party date. So that's when I just pretty much was like, I need somebody to help me. I have a one year old. I'm seven months pregnant. I have a six year old. It's the height of wedding season. This is my busiest time. My weekends have been swamped. Oh, woe My husband me. is not planning it for me. Oh, woe is so me. therefore, I need somebody to help me. So shout out to Khadidra from PEP Entertainment. She Khadidra, saved my Khadidra life. Was dope. Khadidra, Khadidra was is amazing. Dope. She Khadidra made dope. the event exactly what I envisioned. She just needed and the more. justification for having a planner because she likes to spend Planners money. Planners are very vital. She likes me. to spend money. You know why I like having a planner? Because when all of the catastrophe stuff happens, the day of, because stuff always goes wrong. The planner handles it. Absolutely. Because if the planner didn't handle it, she would have handled it. And her handling it means who handles it really? I handle it. Because you don't want nobody I, messing with me. I don't want nobody messing with you, you and I don't want you with messing with me. True. Especially pregnant. True. <laughs> you mad emotional. You angry. Then the race car cry come. Why have a big first birthday party? Like, that's a debate. You're like, not good. oh, you're not good. Oh, thanks, baby. Yeah, you lucky this camera's here. Because this is the bad take you over right now. Nick, it's so silly. Go ahead, go ahead, no, go ahead, go ahead, but for real, though, people always want to know, like, they want to know, like, oh, first birthday party, it's a waste of money, the baby won't remember mm -hmm. it, da 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 da. I honestly feel like a first birthday party is not even necessarily as much about the baby enjoying the party, because that's not going to happen. It's about 
the parents, it's about the grandparents, the godparents, the people who were really involved in yeah. supporting us, you know, um, helping this baby throughout the first year of life and onward. I mean, I so, agree. I agree because... You know, I think it's it's great to celebrate with everyone. I, for me, I agree because for me, especially birthdays, after watching you give birth to Jackson and then missing Cairo, I realized how important it is to celebrate the moms. And of course, we have Mother's Day, but the birthday... The child just comes into the world, but the mom goes through labor during that day. I think it's also a celebration about what the mom and, and women did during that time to, to bring life into the world. So sometimes it it's not easy. just about the child. It's about it's yeah. about the mom. It's about the parents. She wants to do good. And I put work in before that. I was pumping and sweating, making sure. Oh, boom. my God. I was, I was on my, I was hit, bam. Long story I can't, short, it's no, about long the story long. It's about the journey. It's and about the journey. Like you said, the people that support us because <clears throat> Absolutely. Lord knows if we didn't have aunts. Uncles, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, yeah. grandparents, all of these God people to help us to help. with Jackson and Cairo. None of this would be possible. We would not be able so, to talk to y'all in exactly, this vlog. Exactly. Exactly. That's we, the truth. Yeah. We literally just sometimes don't have time because our schedules are so hectic and whatnot. So and and it's, we it's, just want people to have a good time. Yeah. Like shit, I like having parties. So yeah, absolutely. I want to celebrate with the people fun. who are closest to us. Although everybody who was there today actually means something to us. And shout out to everybody who wished Cairo a happy birthday Absolutely. and who support us on YouTube and on, on the, the regular, Gram and Facebook. We love y'all. I know I don't get a chance to answer all the comments. Same here. But we read, we read them. them. We do. And we try to like as many as comments, as many as possible because we appreciate y'all. Y'all are amazing and y'all make this fun. Like every week, we can't wait to do the vlogs and share with you guys and you guys can share with us. Thank you and we love y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Blow kiss. No, like Roe like to blow kiss. No, <laughs> oh my god. So the party is over. It was a success. She put everything what together. You think, what you think though? I thought it was good. I think you did a good job. Look at my shoes. <laughs> you see my shoes? She put my shoes together. I did. She put she made sure. Sometimes I, I have to have the foresight to see what you're gonna look good in and just do it. I look good in everything, don't I people? <laughs> you know? But we did it, man. Great time. You the best. First birthday down. And we gotta do this all again next year. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yo, you ever you ever look at your girl sometimes and you just be like, damn, like I I did that. That's how I'm feeling right now. I'm I'm need you from now on to go get your face beat and your hair done and just come home. Oh. Just just come home. How often are we doing this? At, one, at least once a week. Don't even once say. Once a week. Don't say nothing. Just come home and that's, just stand there. Just stand. Realistic. Just stand there. That's is realistic. I'll be coming home sometimes. You be having peanut butter and jelly in your shirt. Your hair be like in a little, like a fro thing. I don't be knowing what's going That's on. Because I'm running after a six year old, a one year old, and seven months pregnant well, at the same time. Well, well, before you run That's around crazy. them, get your face beat, your hair done, because it's standing. And come home. Let me just look at you. Just look at you. Just remember you said that. I don't care. I don't care. I'll put them on retainer if, it, if, if it's going to create this. Because I'm having feelings right now. I ain't had since college. And it's feeling, it's feeling good. And American I don't give a Express damn. Card. I don't give a damn about the American Express. You can have the whole American Express card. What? I'm lying. 